Previously on Welcome to the Family. All right, what's next? We got work to do. Red stands for Rational Educated Decisions. We're going in a home opener tomorrow and. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. I'm going for a ride. Riding this morning to the bike shop. Gonna swap the tires on my bike. My current tires are kind of bald. I really shouldn't be riding on them. So we're gonna get those swapped out for some good ones. I downloaded an app called I Can't Wake Up, I think. And it's an alarm that you can set, obviously, to any kind of alarm you want. I have it on this really obnoxious alarm because I'm a very sound sleeper. But in order to snooze, I you get to set it up to do different challenges. So it has me do five different puzzles. One, like, three arithmetic things. One, following a pattern. Um, one, typing in, like the letters that it shows on the screen like all these things that kind of wake my brain up so that when I snooze I'm actually not falling completely back to sleep because I'm a ridiculously sound sleeper people make fun of me because I use those little eye covers to sleep because of the sunlight you have two windows I have four windows no but like facing you have one that faces two humongous windows facing me all right guys so we're here at the bike shop we got Bert's bike there and my bike's right there you gotta lift it Good today. Oh my god, for real. My baby got no legs. So he's got here a Kawasaki. But he loves putting Harley back. You love putting Harley bags on everything? On everything, buddy. It makes it look nice. And the other custom measure is back. And that little loop, you see it? Goes yeah. all the way to the top. Then George took my tire to this machine that it was set up that you actually take the tire off of the rim. So a couple blocks away from the studio, there is a little, I guess, natural preserve where it's just, you know, natural. There's a lot of grass and trees, and for some reason, we don't know why, it caught on fire. So I went out and I played news reporter and decided to report on the situation as I saw it. Reporting live next to a field where there's fire. There's fire. It's a very developing situation currently, and all we know is that there are flames engulfing the natural habitat next to a preserve. The number one indicator that this is a fire is the fact that there are flames that are going on behind me to my left. To my right, there is also emergency vehicles that have joined the scene and are looking to extinguish the flames. Also an indicator that it's a fire, the puffs of smoke and the firefighter coming up from behind. More back to you in the studio. Right, so we're still at the shop and uh, checking out some bikes that they have. And I am a sucker for 883s. These I think are so delicious. Oh my god. And and the color scheme that's on here, oh my god. Green on black. Vance and Hind pipes. I like the wheels. Those are actually stock wheels, the, the rims. I mean, they're Sportsters. They're just like mine, except mine's a Sportster 1200 Custom. Uh, I don't know if this is the Iron 883. Might be. But, uh, yeah, it looks delicious. Custom seat. I'm going to do this to my bike. I'm really thinking about it. I'm going to swap the mirrors so they're underneath, because I like that look a lot better. Me and Bert were talking about it the other day. It's got feet again. Well, we still got to connect that real quick, but... It's almost there. That's it guys, it's done. New wheels on the bike. For those that have never been to South Florida, we decided that we might just take a cruise to the beach. We're gonna go by Miami Beach. So right now we're on US-1. I'm about to go on Brickle Avenue and as soon as I make the next turn. 
turn. For the past couple of years, I've been having this really severe attack in the middle of the night a couple times a year, probably you know between six and 10 times a year, where I wake up and I cannot breathe whatsoever. It's like my whole throat shuts down. Bert and I have been very scared about it, so we decided to do a sleep study. Yet again, another hospital. You know, before I hung out with Bo team, I never went to hospital, I'm just saying. Which also will help in um, getting the approval for my upcoming gastric sleep surgery. Which I'm really not sure what it entails but I don't think I would enjoy it. They put about a hundred wires in your head. Like in your head or like? like uh, uh, in uh, your, like oh, on your like scalp. Sticky things? Yeah. Ugh. And when you take them off in the morning, your hair feels disgusting. I remember I have a lot of hair, mm -hmm. so it's gross. And you know, it's odd because they're studying your sleep yet with a hundred wires in your head, it's really hard to sleep. Especially because you can't like turn over and you can't move too much. Oh. If they made it like a shower cap kind of thing that just went over your head instead of a bunch of little... Well, it's got to it's gotta touch your scalp for some reason. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be better if you like shaved your head first. It'd be great if I would shave my head. Wouldn't I just look lovely? I did a sleep study about five years ago when it first started. I knew what to expect as far as the uncomfortable part of wearing all these wires and everything. Those things put on me. I got the little table ready and they're about to cable me up. So I'm getting wired up. I knew it was gonna be a long night. Tres en la cara, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Got my little wire pack over here. Got some of these belts on here. And now we're gonna try a machine like that. And uh, then we'll get started. So excited. It's gonna be so comfortable. I know the process is kind of yucky because afterwards, you know, you have like all this glue and yucky stuff in your hair. It's totally disgusting. You can't really sleep, so I don't understand. I don't know. I, I can't sleep. I gotta be comfortable to sleep. And it's just uncomfortable. Nope. I am your father. Supposed to breathe through this thing, but feels weird. Feels really weird. Feels like I can't breathe. <laughs> I just took a cruise down South Beach, and I'm over here with LJ. He's back there. You don't see him? Now we're gonna go ahead and take a ride back and uh, through the expressway. You gonna tell them you ran out of gas? <laughs> Guys, I ran out of gas, and, and like I swear, it didn't give me no indication I was running out of gas. It just stopped, and my reserve isn't working. There's a gas station right there, isn't it? It's far. It's not that close. Can you believe you ran out of gas? <laughs> look at him. Look at him. check your gas tank before you take a long drive he said he had reserve but I think he was riding on reserve at least I can sit back Yo, he goes alone. 
Holy crap! <laughs> we got it to a gas station. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to the family show. And what I. Hey, what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So, what I want you to do is, I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're gonna do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now. Now.